what's up everyone uh, welcome to another tournament prep video uh, this one I wouldn't say as much uh, prep as much as um, maybe I don't know giving you an idea of what to think of rating wise um, there are a lot of people who may have primarily played online or only played in clubs and they aren't sure what their rating is you know they may not know what section they should enter they may not know how they stand as far as strength is concerned uh, for other rating levels um, so yeah, I'm basically here to kind of help, uh, you know, clear that up for people. Um, so I'm on a website right here, chessgoals.com, and this is the rating comparison uh, section. And pretty much, um, it's like a, not a perfect formula, but they have a ton of statistics uh, for people that have, you know, Blitz accounts, uh, Rapid accounts, you know, USCF memberships, FIDE memberships, all this stuff. And what they do is they find out you know, the correlation between them and where the ratings intersect. Um, the one that you aren't going to see here is going to be Lee Chess. Oh, it is here, okay. Um, I'm not gonna touch on Lee Chess, just that I, I don't use it personally, but generally um, with Lee Chess, whatever your chess.com ranking is, and we're from three to 400 points higher is what you should be on Lee Chess for whatever format. Um, don't go in between formats though, so like Blitz versus Classical, you know, on Lee Chess versus Chess.com or whatever. Don't do that, just keep it like Classical versus Classical, Rapid, Rapid, Blitz, Blitz, Bullet, Bullet, that type of thing. Um, but anyway, let me kind of uh, go over this here. So, I'm going to go to my rating first, just because that's what my rating is. And I'm just going to go to the Rapid table, because that's what I mainly play. And then I'm going to look at what that translates to in USCF. And USCF is uh, United States Chess Federation, um, so that would be any tournaments that are held within the US generally. Um, FIDE is like the international chess governing body. So once you reach a certain rating and you want to start acquiring norms and stuff like that, uh, it's not like a grandmaster is a USCF um, like uh, title, if that makes sense. Like. A lot of these titles are, U are FIDE titles, and that's not to say that, you know, Grandmaster isn't a Grandmaster here or whatever, but generally there are slightly different ratings between your FIDE rating and your USAF rating, uh, just because United States isn't the whole world as far as chess is concerned. So they're pretty similar, USCF and FIDE, there are slight differences. Like you'll see here, for example, like a 30 point difference, 15 point difference, five point difference, 10 point difference. They're like very, very minuscule. Um, but anyway, we're not worried about FIDE because that's like really, really high rated, like borderline, you know, IM, GM type stuff. So we don't look at that too much. Um, unless you're playing overseas, then I would look at that. But again, I'm gonna focus on what uh, people in the US are gonna uh, see since that's where I play and coach for now. Uh, but yeah, let me find my rapid rating. So I'm at like 2028 right now. Um, so I'm like between these two, uh, 2000, 2055. So that means that my USCF rating is gonna be anywhere between uh, 1940 and then 2020. Um, so it's a little bit lower. Uh, it's like 60 points lower, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and then if you were to look at what my blitz should be, uh, USCF right here, my blitz should be between 2000 and 2100. However, if you guys have seen me play Blitz before, you know that's definitely not the case. I am more like a 17 or 1800 rated player when it comes to Blitz. And that is because my largest uh, weaknesses are openings. So I normally get smoked right off the bat and I don't have a chances in a lot of games that I play. Um, so I need to very much study more on my openings and then I'll hit up Blitz again and you'll probably find that this is gonna be more accurate. Um, but, you know, just because this table base is here, and I'll just go over a few other examples. So if your chess.com is, you know, what, what do they start you at? I think 1200. So if you're 1200 starting at chess.com and you kind of stay there, you'll find that you're like a thousand fifty in person. So the lower rating you are on chess.com, normally the bigger difference there is between chess.com and over the board. And that's because there's a lot of youngsters who play uh, over the board, but they don't play online. Um, whether that's access to internet that they don't have or their parents just don't want them playing, you know, against strangers or something like that. They'd rather be in like a controlled environment. Um, whatever the reason may be, um, there's generally a bigger gap um, between uh, rapid 
and USCF at the lower ratings. And that's because these youngsters are just super strong, um, but haven't proved it yet, if that makes sense. I don't know if I worded that correctly. But uh, one thing that I want to say about all of these ratings is that um, don't pay too close attention to them, right? Like, have a decent idea. Like, if you know your strength online, know that this is your relative strength over the board. But as you can see, it says here plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus, etc., etc. That's because for each player, um, you may be stronger online or you may be stronger in person. So I, for example, think that I'm stronger in person. Um, it's just easier for me to focus in a tournament setting because I grew up on them. Uh, there's no distractions. You know, I don't have music playing here. I don't have like a YouTube video playing. I don't have my phone to be texting other people. Uh, when I focus, I play a lot better. And generally, that would be over the board. I don't have that same level of focus online. Um, for other people, it may be the opposite. For other people, it may just be hard visualizing uh, what's originally just like a 2D square with all these like, you know, facing you uh, pieces. It's completely different for some people to just go over the board and there's like a big chessboard in front of you. Like what you used to see like tactically, like pretty simply, is now like crazy in front of you. You may miss something stupid that, you know, a person of your rating level shouldn't miss, but it is possible. So just, you know, take your time if this is your first time doing like an over the board tournament. Um, you know, don't rush, you know, expect that it's gonna look a little different. And then also very importantly is just play like a lot of online, or uh, sorry, over the board games. It doesn't even have to be against people that are like your uh, strength necessarily. Just get used to playing chess against, um, you know, people over the board because there is a difference. And then I mean, I don't think I need to mention the other way around, but if you're an over-the-board player and you somehow found my online channel for online chess and you're trying to play online chess, then, yeah, you know, same thing. It's going to be a little bit different. There are people who um, online have a lot of, like, openings memorized, whereas uh, over-the-board people generally don't have a lot of opening, uh, you know, prep and stuff like that just because they have time to think through. Uh, their openings over the board. You don't really have that luxury online. So they may be a lot stronger in the middle game and end game uh, over the board. So, uh, you know, if you're an over the board player starting to play online, you know, realize that you don't have unlimited time. So either play slower time formats or just like allocate more of your time towards uh, surviving the opening if you do struggle there. Um, I think that's all I really have to say. Um, so yeah, to summarize, you know, Lee Chess players, if you're 2300 Lee Chess, which is about what I am, you're about 2000 in uh, um, chess.com, which means you're around 1950 in USCF, just a little bit lower. Um, FIDE, you're probably around the same as USCF, not that that matters just yet. Um, and yeah, if you guys are Blitz players, generally, uh, I think that's the one thing I didn't really touch on. Uh, blitz players, generally your Blitz is gonna be lower than your rapid. Um, it's not going to be by a ton. And again, it differs from person to person. For me, there's a huge difference. It's like a 300 rating point difference. Um, but for others, they may be better at like playing quickly. Maybe they played video games in the past. You know, they may smoke blitz, but they may suck in rapid because they may have won a lot of their games on either like time or just like, uh, you know, uh, reacting quickly and stuff like that to, uh, you know, cheese plays and stuff like that. You know, whatever it may be, uh, but generally it's a little bit lower. So, yeah, just look at this chart, trustgoals.com rating comparison. You know, it'd give you a decent idea of how you'll stand, you know, in your first OTB tournament. Um, but also don't, you know, don't make this uh, something you have to live by. Um, I'm 2,000 rated, you know, online, and I still lose to people who are about like 1,200 strength, you know, online, uh, you know, all the time. Not all the time, but sometimes. So you still can, you know, strike above your rating range. It's not like it's just over. Um, so yeah, that's all. Uh, enjoy your tournament play, and uh, hopefully you're a little more prepared now for it.